Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna give my thoughts about some of today's matches and I'm gonna mostly talk about Novak Djokovic because this is uh, gonna be a very short video. Novak Djokovic just dismissed Denis Kudla in three straight sets. The last set was the most exciting set. Novak got a break in the first set and won 6-4. And I believe he won the second set also 6-4. Um, and in the third set, Nova got broken. Dennis Kudla uh, came up with a great, uh, uh, with a great solid performance in the beginning of the third set. He went up 4-1. But Novak Djokovic, as the clutch monster it is, he is the guys uh, that are. His opponents knows this. They are never safe when it comes to Novak Djokovic. You are not safe until you seal the deal. And today Novak was both down 1-4 in the first set and 1-4 also in the tie break. But somehow he turned the tables around and showed why he's the clutch monster. Why he has won so many matches when he was so go when it, it seems that he was going to lose or... Uh, drop set when it seems he's gonna lose the set today Novak Djokovic played uh, brilliant tennis when it's when it most matters that's what big champions do and that's what Novak did today he didn't look super untouchable today like in the two pre uh, two, two previous matches but in this match he he played against Dennis Kudla who is in he has he has a great serve but he didn't win too many points on his serve that uh, could be a threat for Novak uh, but Novak wins a lot of points on his first serves. That uh, great weapon that he has is a secret weapon. Not secret because everybody knows that Novak is a great server. He won 88% behind his first serve and 50% uh, behind his second serve. He converted 4 out of 11 break points. That was enough. Uh, if you have one chance in each of the three sets that you win, it's enough. If your opponent can hold their serve, he broke back against uh, Kudla in the third set. He totally did 34 winners and 28 unforced errors. Unforced errors. A little bit more unfor er unforced errors numbers that he has done in the, uh, the two matches prior to this match. So Novak all in all was not super uh, brilliant, but still good enough, still good enough to defeat a player like uh, Denis Kudla. This was a cruise control for Novak Djokovic. Uh, like I said, Novak's baseline game is barely, you can barely out hit him. He's too solid. You have to play, mix up the games and make Novak Djokovic uncomfortable. That's where you can take a set from him to begin with. And the rest we have to earn and work and hope that no Novak doesn't come back. All right. A good day at work for Novak Djokovic. He's cruising in to the next round against uh, Chilean guy Marin Garin, not Marin. Marin who beat um, Martinez in four sets today. Great performance from this clay court uh, player. Um, he won't stand a chance against Novak, that's for sure. That's my prediction. And on to the other matches. Uh, first to begin with, uh, Rublev who defeated... Um, Funini 6-4-5-7-6-4-6-2. He won 73% behind his first serve, 53% behind his second serve. He did 35 winners and 28 unforced errors. He returned very well in this match against Fabio. He won 43% of his returning game. And uh, he punished uh, Funini's second serve, which is a weakness that he needs to be better on. This powerhouse uh, from Russia, the hard-hitting uh, power guy Rublev, Andrei Rublev is really hard to um, trade duels with when he hits so hard. When he's in the zone, it's hard. He has a magnificent four and has a superbly great serve and uh, he pushed Fabio back really today and Fabio couldn't handle that pressure and lost pretty easy even though he took a set, the second set. All in all, great performance by Rublev. He will uh, advance to the fourth round now. And then we had Kachanov, Karen Kachanov, who beat Tiafoe in three sets, 6-3, 6-4, 6-4. 
He won 81% behind his first serve and 64 behind his second serve and totally did 29 winners and 22 unforced errors. So great for him. And uh, after beating McDonald in the first round, Gerasimov in the second round at TFO, he has booked a place in the fourth round. I think his journey will end there, depending on who he meet. But Rublev is going to meet Fuskovic and Novak is going to meet uh, Garin. And then we have Fuskovic who defeated Diego in four set battle. No, a guy like Diego on grass really doesn't possess any firepower. I'm pretty uh, shocked that Fuskovic dropped a set, but Fuskovic is a hard hitter. Great serve, but he's not consistent. That's why um, he took a set, lost a set against Diego. Both of these players didn't play superbly good. Mo both of them did uh, a lot of unforced errors. The unforced error machine was on. Fuskovic did 47 unforced errors and Diego 37. On the other hand, Fuskovic did 40 winners and Diego only 20. That's not good enough on this level if you want to win in a match, in at, especially at the Grand Slam. You can't come, come away with 20. Uh, winners at the grass court surface at Wimbledon. It's too, it's too difficult. You 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 want you want to succeed, and uh, we have some matches that are still going. RBA also won against Kepfer, seven five six one seven six. Great performance. Um, his only weakness he he's hasn't he needs to work on his second serve RBA. Otherwise he will be a threat in this tournament. He will reach deep. But he needs to work and improve on his second serve and try to mix up the game a little bit more and not try to trade from the baseline because sooner or later he will probably meet a guy like Novak or a better player and then and that player is going to take him out for sure if he doesn't uh, mix up the game a little bit and improve his second serve. His returns are great, his forehand is great, he has a great first serve but otherwise he has a great tennis mind but he needs to Changed tactics sometimes when he meets a better player, and that's what he maybe he was gonna do in the next round. All right, we are waiting for Denis Shapovalov against Mario also, uh, and uh, Korda is uh, in, in in head in his battle against uh, I forgot who he's playing against now, uh, but Korda is a great player also. He can advance from his round also. All right, folks, that was all for today. Take care and bye bye.